So on this video, I'm actually going to test out my new uh, Battleborn batter battery system. I only have one battery on board, and we're going to test it out. It's just going to be a two-day, one-night trip, and uh, we're going to see how well it works. So I'm going to go give you some conditions that I've set to start off with, and then we'll go from there, and uh, we'll see how this thing lasts. First thing I'll let you know is that this is a 2020 Geo Pro uh, 19FD, and this is the model. If you can tell here, this is the model with the LP uh, refrigerator. So that will make a big difference to people. So if you're trying this type system with one battery like mine, you may need more if you have that 12 volt refrigerator. You may need a 200 amp setup, but we're hoping that this 100 amp will work good for this particular situation. And we also only have the 100 watt solar panel on the top versus the 190 that I think it comes out on it now. So just letting you know those. Now, if you haven't seen my video where I put in this system, you might want to check it out. I'll have a link to it at the end of this video. But uh, this, this system, I have a smart shunt and you can see here I'm reading 13.67 uh, volts on my battery now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm still gonna plug in, a, I've got a uh, char battery charger. I'm gonna try to bump that all the way up to uh, 14 and uh, I would tell you that if you try to add the system to yours yours with this solar the way we have it set up and it actually does the lithium it actually I don't even know if I need the the battery charger because it actually does on sunny days it does bump it up to 14 so I've got the battery charger just as an extra but that's hundred and fifty dollars I think that you could probably save if you don't want to do this so we're gonna plug ours in and bump it all the way up to the top before we leave, just to make sure we're at the top of the batteries. Even though it's showing 100% on the actual scale there, but it will go a little bit higher. So if you watched the video where I installed this battery system, you'll know that I put it in this left compartment on the uh, FD model. I'll put it it's basically in the bottom here with the top over it. And I have this plug shunt here that I added in and I actually added the plug back here in the back and I think I showed you that one plug there actually goes to the inverter and then I've got this charging unit and I'm gonna actually hook it up and it actually has the hook up here that's gonna plug into our outlet here and that will boost our battery up to 100% even though it's sitting there at, right now but we wanna get that to that above 14 volts. So you'll see I've got that all plugged in and I'm going to go to my app here. Now when I go to my app, I'm actually going to have two things. One is my shunt, and one is my actual ch uh, charger. So I'm going to go to the charger, and it's going to show us where we're at. And it's just doing an absorption charge right now. It's already boosted up to 14.20, so it's not going to take long. I'm just going to let this run for a little while, make sure it's topped off. And then we can look at our shunt. Yeah, it's 1416 on that, and it's currently putting out four, four and three quarter amps, and it's dropping pretty quick. So it's actually getting to the top of its range. Didn't take much. I've only had this on for less than two or three minutes. So like I say, it was already at 100%, but we're just trying to make it sure it's completely up to the top. Okay, so we're going to set a baseline. This is the day before we go on our camping trip, 100%. And with the charger, we got it up to 14.43 volts. Now what we'll do now is that we're going to, it's consuming, it's actually got some solar kicking into it right now. But uh, that's just going to keep it trickle charged. So tomorrow after we get to the campsite and get all unhooked, we'll give another reading on where we're at with this, this voltage and with our percentages. And then we'll see how it goes through the, through the whole uh, trip. We've already disconnected from the camper. And we are we're at 13.39 now, 100%. And we look over here at the one on the wall. There's this one here, 13.4. We're going to keep track of that. And let me see if we have any solar. We barely have any solar coming in. It's overcast skies right now. So that's what we're starting with. So currently all I have on is the exhaust fan on the lowest setting and I don't have any lights on. I've got the pump on but it doesn't work unless you actually 
flush the commode or open up the water faucet so what we have and this is the way out this thing reads out it says at your current consumption level it would take 10 days to run out of power so we're in great shape now but like I say, we'll see later on when we start using some lights around here how it all works out. So right now we're running about uh, a negative, not quite a full amp. And that's with our little fan running at the lowest setting. So I'm actually going to put my Wii Boost on now and we'll see how well that does. We're going to put the awning out too to see how much that draws the power down. If you go over here now... Look at our status, we're still 99%. And at the current consumption rate, we have eight days and one hour. So doing really well, but like I say, it's just now getting dark, so we're getting ready to plug a few things in, and we'll see how it goes. It's just before we get ready to go to bed, and we're, uh, we've got, right now, we've running the these little lights over here, and we're running a Wii Boost, and we currently here. This is what we've got on our scale here and we also have two phones plugged in as well so it says here we got negative 46 watts somewhere and uh according to the time remaining it says we can run that for one day and three hours i don't know how accurate that is uh pretty much when we get ready to go to bed we're going to have this pretty much the same thing on we will turn that light off over there and we'll turn on my CPAP which is already plugged in so I think it's drawing a little bit on this um, and that's pretty much what we're gonna be running with tonight and we're gonna we do have a jockery with us that we're gonna plug in an electric blanket but we're not gonna run it off of our main battery so that way we can leave that running so just a good idea what's going on like I say it's still showing 97% here and for some so showing 99% on that that one there but that's still that one there I'm not sure how accurate that one will be so that's where we stand right now before we go to bed so after the entire night we are at 83% and you can see time remaining three days and three hours worth of power now we've actually turned some things off now so that's extended it was down to about two days at one point and we're only using about 16 watts right now so what we used last night was the not sure how well you can see this but we used the we boost all night long I ran my CPAP without humidity charged one phone got the fan on low in the other in the bathroom refrigerator uses a little bit of juice okay I'm gonna do something now I'm at 82 percent solar has been kicking in a little bit but I'm still using six watts and I think that's that's my actual uh, Wii boost is still hooked up so uh, what we're going to do now, since we know we're going home today, we're not really worried about using too much power. So we're just going to give a try to see if we got enough juice in our inverter and our to do a toaster. This is a 700 watt toaster, and we're going to do two bagels. So we're going to see how well that pulls it down. So we'll see how it works. So we are now pulling negative 822 watts. So yeah, we're we're juicing it pretty good already dropped one percentage on there's two percentages now so yeah it's going down pretty fast if you did this you definitely want to be prepared to you're going to use a lot of juice so we'll see what happens after two bagels okay doing our test just want to show you what it shows on here and it says if we could we ran that toaster continuously time remaining we would we could still run that battery for 33 minutes at that wattage so that's pretty impressive actually so our toaster experiment is over with we got two bagels toasted and we're back down to only using six watts and that took us down to 74 percent so again if you really want toast real bad that's something you can do but most likely you can make toast in a 
in a fry pan on the on the stove if you want to really make toast so just just showing you that can really take down the power quick but it's shooting back up now and it still says like I say we've got 74 percent and we have total remaining time two hours and 31 minutes but that should go up as as we uh get some more solar today so just sitting here with the uh solar in the last two hours and i actually turned off the uh we boost so we're actually started getting positive numbers and it's actually boosted us back up to 100 percent now that's at 13.27 so it'd take probably the rest of the day to get back up to 14 over 14 with the uh solar but uh we're almost done here we only thing we got running right now is the fan so we're still showing a negative one well barely barely even but negative one there for the actual loss but when the sun shines up that way it usually kicks over and gives a positive so so we're just getting back home from our moon deck docking trip and our test out on our batteries and after turning everything off and driving home we're back up to 100 percent 13.42 volts for some reason it's showing we're using 27 watts i think that's what we're actually receiving on the actual solar right now so the solar's putting it back up to 100 percent and uh before we go on another trip we might put a boost on it to boost it over that 14 but a lot of times that solar will get you there so my what i think about all this is i'm basically pretty pretty excited about the whole situation with one battery now granted we do have the lp refrigerator and uh we have a 100 watt solar panel but it seems to work out pretty good and i think we from what i can look at in the data i think we can get at least two days boondocking possibly three or four if we're really stretching it um we actually used that toaster just to just to kind of see what it would take but if you didn't use the inverter you probably would uh probably get oh you could probably stretch it out to three four days and maybe in a fifth day with you if you're getting a little solar in between so that's about all i have for this this particular uh video i just wanted to show you uh what i came up with my batteries and we'll we'll test it again i've got another trip in uh middle of may where i'm going to go to uh, harvest host and we'll give it another try then and this time we won't take as many readings but we'll actually just see how it comes out at the end so um, that's all I have and uh, if you have any questions on how we did this test or if you want to put a system in yours Leave them in the comments and we'll talk to you again on another one of these videos